Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to our very last episode of Football Manager 2022, Journeyman Glory Hunter. Um, this may be the last episode of Football Manager 2022, period, because I don't know if I'll do another series before 2023 comes out. But today is it, guys. We've got, at most, two more games left. First game up is against Holland, and then if we beat Holland, we'll be in the finals of the European Football Championship against Germany. They beat Spain 2-1. to one. We got a lot of guys that are really, really tired, though. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are, guys. Here is our team. I mean, we're, we're, we got a lot of guys sitting here on the bench that are just not fully fit right now. Uh, I'm going to put Tempestella back up in the front, though. Uh, I say that. Nope. Philip, you can only play there, really. Uh, you can play on the left. Where can be be a body play? You can play center. Can we move Turchi over to the right? Yes. Be a body to the middle? No. Okay. So we'll even though he can technically sort of play there. Oh no, I'm sorry. He can play left uh, midfielder center, not attacking midfielder center. All right, we're gonna be Tempestilly on the right hand side. We'll see what. Anyway, at least he's in the game. Um, but with so many people needing some some time to rest, I mean, this is it. This is what we got to play, and hopefully Holland is is. Kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel a little bit as well. So we got Vujovic in goal, Gabriel on the left, Servi on the right, Franco and DeSantis in the middle with Fabri coming ahead of them as the roaming playmaker. Biavati and Tempestili on the wings, Oliva, o Oliva and Turchi in the shadow striker roles, and Filippelli as our striker. I'm not sure if I feel super confident about this team, to be honest, because it's not our best of our best. But if we get past this one, we could we should be able to have our best of our best in the next game. Hopefully. But you gotta get there, right? Sometimes it's uh, good to rest your best players in the game before the final, but it could also just cost you from the chance to get to the final at all, right? So, it's always a gamble. We'll see what Holland brings. A couple, go or a couple shots already, three shots already to our zero. Here's Serbi with a throw in. Tempestilli with the ball over to Oliva. Fabry all the way back to DeSantis. There's Fabry with the ball. Oliva, Tur Turchi, come on. Oh, what a shot. What a shot from Turchi. No, how, how can you possibly take that one away? What? I was going to say, how can you take that one away? He came from behind them and pushed through there. Is it because Tempestili got his foot on it temporarily? Turchi. No, Tempestili never touched it. All right, so we got one. Let's keep going. Let's hold on. All right, Franco with the ball up to Biavati. Oliva back to Franco. Franco up to Fabri. DeSantis now up to Philip Filippelli. Biavati. Oh, yes. There we go. There we go, guys. Come on. Let's keep it up. If we can, I'd like to get Tempestili out of this game as soon as possible. He's probably the guy that I care about most in this game that I really would like to see in the final game. Oh, can't get ahead of ourselves. We've still got some, still got a, too much game time left in this one. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Gabriel able to chase that one down. DeSantis. Gabriel again. All the way up. There's Biavati. Oliva. Oh, Oliva over to Biavati. Filippelli. Turchi. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. That was so close. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, I'm starting to get back in it. Oh, come on. There's Servi down to Tempestelli. Tempestelli. Uh, Servi again. Gets it up to Filippelli. Nope, can't quite get it to him. Tempestelli can't quite get on that one either. Highlight continues. Come on, guys. There we go. Oliva. Go, go. Just do it all yourself. Go, go, go. Go for goal. That's all right. I was gonna say you 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 got the you got the steal 
you deserve to go for the shot. Uh, good move. Or, you know, good move. <laughs> goalkeeper didn't move. Good save by the goalkeeper, though. Staying home. All right. Things are going well. I do think you're capable of more. I would agree with that. Let's get one more go so I can get Tempestili out of here. Turchi with the ball. Tempestili right there. Servi. Come on. Fabry back to DeSantis. There's Gabriel with the ball. Biavati. Come on, guys. Making a move. He's got a couple guys in the middle. Turchi. I think he might be offside. Is he? Is he? Nope. We're good. And that's what we needed. So, yeah. Let's get Tempestili out of here. Tempestili is actually not having a very good game anyway. So, that is okay. Okay. Let's watch this. I actually feel like Turchi might have been offside. It's hard to tell. But we'll take it. I'm not complaining. Um, all right, so Tempestili having a pretty bad game. Yeah, we'll bring Algeri in here. And that is it for now. Probably Gabriel next. All right, so Gabriel comes out next. Fiori, sure. I have to play some of these guys who have already played a little bit, but we got to do what we got to do. And then Viavati, I guess, is going to be the, hopefully the next guy coming out here in a moment. Come on, guys. Hold on. 20 more minutes is a long time, unfortunately. Especially if they get one here. Oh, careful. Oh, my goodness. All right, come on, guys. Don't let them get back in this one. Man. Another highlight. Come on, guys. Servi, Fabri, Turchi, Oliva, over to Fiori. Biavati, come on, guys. Good move, good move, good move. Yes. Turchi, man, he is having a game today. That is his hat trick. Thank you, Turchi. All right, as soon as we can, we got to get Biavati out of there. Yeah, I probably should sub him out now, even if we get an injury. I'd rather be a body come out of there then and, and play a man down. I just got to get him out of there as soon as I can. All right, be a body. I hope you're okay for the next game because we might need you. Or at the very least, come on as a sub in the next game. All right, that's all our subs. Let's just let's play this out, guys. Come on. We got Germany next. Nothing stupid here, guys. Just play it easy. Play it safe. Lucci pushing the ball up. Filippelli. Ah, all right. Come on, guys. It's all right. We got this one, though. Good job. We got this one. Okay. Well, definitely the easiest of the games we've played lately. So, really, really good job all around. Uh, especially who? Turchi 10, 10 10.0? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we needed that from him because I actually, I mean, he's probably one of the kind of guys that I wouldn't play in the final game just because he's, there are really good guys that play that spot. Obviously, he's really good too. Um, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll be right back for the final game here in like three days, right? Three days against Germany. All right. Here we go, guys. We made it to the finals. I mean, you, you got to say no matter how this game ends, we took it all the way. We got every single trophy that we needed to get for this Journeyman Glory Hunter run. And we made it to the finals of our last chance of the European Football Championships. So no matter how it ends, I mean, we're going to be we're either going to be victorious or we're going to be missing it by just, just this much. But here's the team. We got Ve Ve uh, Vucevic in goal, Gabriel on the left, Marchetti on the right, Negrini and Mafe in the middle. Duke goes ahead of them. Actually, I'd rather have somebody besides Duke. I don't feel like he's the best... 
Uh, he's actually played the best uh, in the last five games. So we'll leave him in there. Uh, Biavati on the left, Kamasa on the right, Felucci and Marani in the S Shadow Striker roles, and Tepestili coming back as our striker. Not everybody's fully fit, unfortunately, but it's just going to have to do. Hopefully their guys aren't fully fit either. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is it. This is this is the big stage right here. Germany versus Italy. Now, they have a few guys that are tired as well. Hey, ZB. Good old ZB. All right, there's Morani with the corner kick coming across. Oh, Negrini! Getting us an early goal 10 minutes into this game. There we go. There we go. Come on. Let's play it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, the greedy went up for that. So, so big time. How tall is he? 5'11". He's only 5'11". Wow. Only 12 jumping reach, but 16 heading. Come on, guys. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's Morani waiting for that one. Back to the greedy. Come on. Don't play stupid. Don't play stupid. There's Negrini up to Gabriel. Deep kick up is Tempestilli. He's going to be able to run onto that. Just him and the goalkeeper. Come on. Come on. Can we do it? Final chance. I mean, to be fair, I gave myself the best chance possible by playing the number one team, you know, statistically in the world. They're ranked number one. Let's give us a good a fighting chance here. Come on, guys. There's Biafati. Do with the ball. Come on, guys. Let's keep it up. Keep up the pressure. Negrini, Mafi. Deep kick up, Tempestili. Oh, he's gonna get tripped up. Come on, penalty, penalty. All right, come on, Tempestili. Put it, bury this. Actually, it's not him, it's uh, Marani. Bury it, bury it. Yes! Oh, we needed this. I needed this. I could not deal with the stress if this was a close game, guys. I mean, it's not over yet. Do not get me wrong. I'm not celebrating yet. Little tiny air to breathe for right now. But 60 minutes is a long time. But we are looking so incredibly strong today. Ronnie. Oh, nothing going there. That's okay. Come on, guys. We're looking so good today. Play it out. Marchetti with the ball. Negrini. Come on. Trying to burn out this clock, I hope. Marchetti with the ball again. Back to Mafi. We're just playing keep away at the moment. Do. Up to Felucci. Marani, over to Kamasa on the right-hand side. I haven't seen much from Kamasa today. Kamasa, come on, what can you do? Marchetti. Uh, I think he's offsides. Didn't matter. It was too deep anyway. Another highlight. Wow. Don't let him have one here before halftime, guys. Come on. Keep this three-goal lead before, into halftime. Don't like it. Don't like it. All right, there's Biavati with the ball now. Do Felucci, Tempestili, over to Kamasa. Kamasa, come on, buddy. Oh, he's too deep. That's all right. Another highlight. Marani, oh, straight to the goalkeeper. There's highlights going to continue here. Does not bode well for potentially them getting the one right before halftime here. Kamasa. Marchetti with the ball. Gets it up to Felucci. 
Oh, I should have scored that one, buddy. You should have scored that one. All right, that's okay. Three-goal lead going into halftime. Come on. Drive it home in the second half, guys. Drive it home. I like that. Oh, my goodness. Left the door open, guys. Come on. What are they looking at? It's not a penalty thing. What is it? Is it offside? Surely not. I think it was clean. Really? For what? For what? Was he? I don't know. Maybe somebody was holding or something weird. I, I didn't even see. Okay. We'll take it. All right. Let's go ahead and get some yellow cards out of here. Uh, we'll start with Gabriel here. Fiori can come in. Yeah, that'll work for now. Oh, oh, oh. thank you, Tempest. Oh, that one actually looked clean. That one looked clean. Come on, give it to us. Yep, okay. Good job. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Never any doubt. All right, let's bring out... I was going to bring out Marchetti, but... Let's bring out Do here. Fabry can come in for him. Caddy's having an excellent game. Just to be safe. I don't need any red cards making things weird here at the end. I'll bring Servi in. He deserves to come in here. And that's it. We did it, guys. We have completed the Glory Hunter run as a journeyman, starting with nothing. No skills, no nothing. And we did it in, I guess, technically 23 years, I guess. 20, is that right? This is our 23rd season? So instead of, we, we had 25 to do it. We did it in 23. Not bad. No. Because it was the only thing we had left. That was it. I mean, we didn't have any. There wasn't gonna ever going to be a 24th and 25th year anyway. But man, wow. I don't even know what to say. I, I don't know. I don't know if I knew. I, I'm not sure if I thought we were going to do it. There was a couple times there that I thought this was just not going to be doable, especially the 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 uh, national stuff. Although we got the World Cup so incredibly early, we got that so so early. But it was just it was it's so hard to get that. They're four years apart, so incredibly hard. But uh, man, we did it. I'm it feels good, guys. <laughs> it feels so good. Oh, it's awesome. That is it. We've done it. Freedom of the country. What is that? I'll have to look that here in a minute. But there we go. I got one more quick little thing to show you, and then we're gonna we're gonna look at some other stuff. So let me be right back. Alright, here we go, guys. This is it. This is it. The last trophy right there. 2044. The European Continental Championship. That is a completed screen. 14 years start to finish. 2030 was our very first trophy. Um, so we got the league and the cup with Newcastle. Went on from there. And uh, what was our next one? Our next one was... Actually, we got the Champions League with them as well the next year. And then we moved on to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Got the Euro League as well as the cup with them in the 2033 and then 2034 followed that up with the league, as well as the Spanish team getting the World Cup. That was amazing. 
Uh, ten year difference between the World Cup and the European Continental. And then we picked up, what was it? Looks like Barcelona, 2036, 2037, uh, with the Cup in the league in successive years. Then Juventus with uh, the league in 2038, and then the Cup in 2039. And then finally, Bordeaux picking up the French league in 41, as well as the Cup in 43. And then, of course, our European Continental in 2044. In fact, let's come back into the game here and let's we'll look at it from this perspective as well. Just because I'd kind of like to look through the history of where we've been, what we've done, just everything. My history, job history. We started out at lovely little Kurz and Ashton, took them to a, uh, I guess it's more the competition that we're looking at. We got them to win the Vanarama National League North. Um, and then we left there to go to Avangard Kursk. Didn't win any trophies with Avangard Kursk, unfortunately, although we did make it to the Premier League, just not as a trophy. We, we got that through the, the playoffs, if I remember correctly. Uh, made it up to the Premier League. Left from there to our first, you know, Premier level team in one of the five nations we cared about, which was FC Lorient in League One Uber Eats. Uh, we were there for a couple years, actually a year, about a year and a half. Got them up to uh, rank six, which is not bad. And that's when we picked up at Newcastle. Took us five seasons overall at Newcastle, but we won the FA Cup, the Premier Division, and the Carabao Cup. We also won the Champions Cup, the Community Shield, and the Carabao Cup again. And then finally, we won the European Super Cup uh, with them before moving on to Borussia Mönchengladbach. We were there for three seasons, it looks like. First season, we didn't do much. We got fifth place, fourth place in the next season. But we did pick up the Euro Cup as well as the DFB Pokal. Um, and then finally, we, I think we did a full sweep, didn't we? The, oh, no, we did the German Super Cup, the European Super Cup, the Bundesliga, and the European Champions Cup. So we did win the Champions Cup in, that's our second Champions Cup win right there. And then somewhere in here, we, we obviously start over at Spain. Is this the World Cup for Spain? There's the World Cup for Spain right there. We stuck around with Spain for several, several years, but they eventually got rid of us once we got knocked out of, let's see, here's 2034. So it would have been 2036 that we got knocked out of the uh, European continental, but they still kept us actually. It must, oh, it was because of our poor play in the European Cup up here, or in the World Cup again, I think, that we got knocked out in 2038. Uh, but at some point we moved over to Zebra as well. Uh, first season in Zebra, we got the Euro Cup, the Serie A, and the Super Cup. So we still had the Italian Cup to pick up. That's the second Euro Cup, though. And then we did five trophies in one year. We had the European Champions Cup. That's our third Champions Cup. We had uh, the, the League. We had the Italian Cup, the Super Cup, uh, Italian Super Cup, and the European Super Cup. So we've gotten the Champions Cup with Newcastle, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Zebra, um... Who did we miss? Newcastle, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Oh, did, did we get it with Barcelona? Yes. No, no, we didn't. We never did it with Barcelona. So, uh, Barcelona is the only team of the five big teams that we played with that didn't actually win the Champions Cup, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I thought we did pretty good there. Bordeaux picked up Luka 1, Uber Eats in 2040-41, and then we never lost it. In fact, they, I'll show you guys that here in a minute, I think they, they won this last time as well. So they've won four in a row. But uh, that's also when we picked up with England. Unfortunately, we didn't do anything with England. We got knocked out. We got fired from them once we didn't make it very far in the World Cup. But we did get a Champions Cup uh, win there. League One Uber Eats as well as the Trophy de Champion. Uh, we also got another Champions Cup. Super Cup, League One Uber Eats, French Cup finally in the 2042-43 season. So we actually got, even though we only got one... We, we missed uh, Barcelona picking up a Champions Cup. We did get two with Bordeaux. So we did get five overall. Uh, and then, of course, Italy getting the European International League as well as the European Football Championship. Overall, where are we on the Hall of Fame? So, so close to number one. I mean, if we were to play out the full 25 seasons, I think it would be a shoe in for number one. There's so many teams wanting us right now. Every team out there wants us. But you know what? I'm pretty happy with what we've done. I don't. I don't need to be number one. I think we 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 could make it if we wanted to, but I'm extremely extremely happy with where we're at. We had an extremely good run: nine domestic divisions, eight domestic cups, eleven just other miscellaneous trophies, and five international trophies. Not a terrible run of of things at all. 
And then finally, let's go look at some stuff real quick. Let's go back to home. Let's go look at my history again. We're going to look at where did some of these teams end up? So Curzon Ashton, we took them out of the Vanarama National North. And what's the best way to look at? Probably league history. Maybe. So we won in 2023. And then I guess they got dropped back down. I don't know if there's, where's the best way to see that? I guess they got dropped back down in the 2024, 20, 25 season. So, and then they've been here this entire time. So we, we kind of overachieved for them. They're, they're very comfortable in the Vanarama National uh, North. Just, they just didn't stick around very long in the National League itself, which is, which is fine. Uh, and then we went on to Avangard Kursk. I'm assuming they're probably back down in the first division. Uh, yes, they are. In fact, the only Premier League spot was when we bumped up there, and then they've been back down here ever since. In fact, it looks like they might have been. I don't know what this gap is for. I'm not sure what that is. But So there you go. Uh, that's kind of where they belong. We overachieved with them a little bit briefly. FC Lorient. Uh, let's see where they're at right now. So they were in the, the Premier League, well, League One for a while. Uh, then they got relegated, then they got promoted, then they got relegated again, and they've been there for the last few years. So they're they're just down here playing around in League Two. Um, looks like the highest they made last season was third. So still not quite good enough to get back into the Premier level, but they were good enough to get us noticed by Newcastle. And of course, Newcastle, they have won a couple times. Um, let's see which one was us. We were the twenty nine. We th no, we were 31, 32, weren't we? So they had won, and then we won, and they haven't won since. So it's unfortunate, but what can you do? They got the one Champions Cup, got three Euros, so still not bad, not bad. And then we went on to Borussia Mönchengladbach. This is our win, I think, right here, 33, 34. They won 35, 36. They won again 40, 41, and that is it for them. Last season, they ranked fourth, so still a good team, but... Definitely not as good as what we had them at. Uh, Barcelona over here, I'm assuming, is still pretty strong overall. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're always like up there in the conversation for second or first. Uh, they have won first in the last three seasons in a row. Not bad. And then, of course, Zebra. I'm sure they've won a few times. Uh, there's us winning 39 40, right? 38 39, something like that. Uh, they have, they win a series with three laws, uh, three second place spots, and then they did win again last season so who was the winner before that it was enter okay so not not a huge surprise there and bordeaux of course their string of four wins in a row three of those hours one of them this last season looking really really good there's their two champions cups both of those from me so overall we put them in a really really good space to continue being extremely relevant in the uh, League One Uber Eats setup. And then, of course, we finished up with Italy. But here we go, guys. I think it's time to retire. It is time to retire. And that's it. We did it. We did it. Took us 16 days of game time. Eight, 16 days, eight hours to get through that whole, that whole mess. Man. No one can accuse you of you of lacking commitment. That's interesting. I'm not sure what that. That's kind of funny. Um, I mean, we created this back in November. Man, this took us almost a full year, but not too bad. Had a huge database available for it. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Did you think we were going to do it? I, I thought we had a really good chance of doing it, but. Sometimes there were a few times there that it's just like, I don't know. Don't know if this is going to make it. And we, we pulled it out. Um, I don't know if I'll do this again anytime soon. It was a lot of fun. I love playing those big name teams and doing the big trades and stuff like that. But I also kind of want to do just one where I just start as a low team and just work my way up the entire list and stick stick with the same team for, for as long as possible. So we might do something like that. Um, some sort of, a, what do they call that? Like a non-league to legend type of thing. Um, at some point I want to do what's, there's like a Penta, Penta something. I can't remember the name of it. Um, where you win, um, the kind of the big championships on all the continents. So Europe, Asia, Africa, 
South America and North America. So uh, something like that might be fun. Although there's a couple of those leagues that I are a little confused. Like the American stuff is really confusing when you compare it to some of the European stuff that we're used to. So I don't know. We'll see. All that, probably anything else will come in 2023, though. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do anything else in 2022. I think I'm going to take a little bit of break from Football Manager. I love it. But let's let's not get too burnt out before the, the next game comes out because I am looking forward to playing that when that comes around. But I do appreciate you guys watching. If you've watched this entire series, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. It just feels so good to know that we got it done and we have the video proof that we did it. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.